ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 6th of February, and we are beginning to calm down after an historic tornado outbreak across the Mid-South last night. Uh, let's begin with a look back at the storm reports. Uh, this is off the SPC site uh, from uh, yesterday and last night, and uh, just pretty amazing stuff. That's 73 tornado reports, 199 reports of damaging wind, and 112 reports of large hail. For the total of all of those, that's 384 severe weather reports. Uh, the death toll is at the moment I'm doing this is 50. And in Alabama, the death toll is four. The deaths in Alabama coming in Lawrence County and in Jackson County up in the Tennessee Valley. Uh, so, again, uh, you can go to the uh, news site, abc3340.com, for the latest on that as we kind of hand off the story to the news department. But, uh, again, just uh, uh, quite a red-letter day in American weather history. But. We are now out of the storm. There's a look at the sky cam coming from Birmingham, looking north. We've gone sunny up in northwest Alabama. The Hamilton sky cam looking good. And in Tuscaloosa, a sunny sky with a cooler afternoon. We're about 10 degrees cooler now than we were this morning, even with sunshine returning. Well, there's a look at the big system that produced the massive tornado outbreak yesterday and last night across the uh, uh, Mid-South. And you can see the uh, uh, unsettled weather continues off to the east of Alabama. In the wake of the storms getting colder, Memphis sitting at 40. It's cold up there uh, in uh, Tennessee, 30s. In fact, uh, 29 at Harrison, Arkansas at mid-afternoon. While you go south of the front, you've got 70s again down in south Georgia. And we still have a slight risk of severe weather for the southeastern corner of Alabama this afternoon. That's down around Dothan. And on to the east, places like uh, Macon. Columbia, Raleigh-Durham, uh, Washington, D.C., Baltimore. And uh, we'll be keeping an eye on those storms uh, off to the east. But, of course, for the state of Alabama, this party is pretty much over. Here's a look at the uh, watch warning map around the country. And we should mention now, you know, that the tornado outbreak, of course, is the big story. But what a snowstorm up north, Chicago, Milwaukee, Detroit. I think 700 flights at O'Hare Airport in Chicago have been canceled today. An incredible winter storm up there, and they'll be uh, digging out for days from that thing. But let's look at model output. This is tomorrow at uh, 12 noon at 500 millibars, the 12Z run of the GFS. And look at the next trough coming in here, but this time there's no moisture, so no rain. Uh, tomorrow should be a, a cool and dry day. We'll start off the day in the low to mid-30s. Uh, the high should be in the mid-50s, exactly where we should be for this time of the year. And then Friday, the thickness values go up a little bit. So if anything, we'll warm up a little bit with low 60s on Friday. And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, the trough is sharpening up over the east again. And that will deliver colder air back in here over the weekend. Now, Saturday, I still think we reach around 60, but the cold air not that far away. And then by Sunday, that colder high drops in here. So we'll probably go from a high close to 60 on Saturday to a high close to 50 on Sunday. But the air very dry. The weekend will be dry. There's no chance of rain through Sunday. Next week on Monday, still looking dry. Now, Tuesday, we've got the uh, band of showers running from near Abilene, Texas, to Little Rock and Cincinnati. But this run of the GFS keeps us dry on Tuesday. And Wednesday, there's a little different solution here. Instead of a, a good-looking trough coming out of western Texas, the, the GFS keeps that thing hanging back. And accordingly, it now has this bone-dry Wednesday with the rain still back over Texas. So a little model madness creeping in for next week. Uh, for the moment, we have mentioned a chance of showers Tuesday night or Wednesday. We're not going to alter that yet, but if this keeps up, we might have to yank that out. And really, on this run, the next major event is out there at the end of the forecast period, and this is pure voodoo. You know, anything beyond seven days, we call it voodoo land because there's not much skill in a specific forecast. We're just looking for trends out here, but... This is the 22nd. If by chance that's right, that could be another severe weather deal. But remember, that will probably change about 15 times between now and then. Just something to keep an eye on. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com, if you are uh, watching this on YouTube or iTunes. And the next video will be posted here by tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.